Welcome to the video by DJSPRC. Today, I wanted to talk about BECs, aka BECs. Uh, a BEC is a battery eliminator circuit. Now, there's a lot of speed controls out there, like this Firma, this Hobby Wing, and even the Mamba Monsters, Mamba X, even the uh, there's another one of the Mambas. I don't I don't remember the name right now. They all have them in built in. <clears throat> the only ones that don't really have some built in uh, sometimes is for airplanes because a lot of those guys will have uh, external batteries that powers their, their equipment. Um, even it's electric. There's multiple kinds of BCs out there. Uh, I do have technically two, three models on the table right now. But before we jump to these guys here in the speed controls, like I said, uh, you do have some built in. Like this Firma here is a 40 amp brush ESC. The BC is a six volt output, three amps. This you cannot vary, vary your voltage output for the, the BEC. This hobby wing, again, this is a brushed one again. Uh, it's an 80 amps. But this guy here, you can vary your output of your BEC. Basically, this guy here can go from 6 volt to 7.4. One reason it can't really go over 7.4 is because limitation of power input. But if I remember correctly, this guy here is the maximum is 7.4. I could be wrong. Uh, but again, if I remember correctly too, this is only three amps output. If we look at the Mamba X, this is brushless. Uh, doesn't matter because if it's brushless or brush, it's gonna be the same, uh, pretty much the same uh, outputs. Different from this guy here, the ESC can take up to 25 volts. Now the motor won't take it, but the ESC will. This guy here, you can program the BC output close to nine volts. Now, if again, if you're giving it 7.4 volts, it won't output more. It will always output your maximum to 7.4. And the amperage for this guy here, I think it goes up to 8 amps, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's an awesome speed control. This is what I have in one of my crawlers. Love it. Uh, and the reason you're going to want to up your voltage from your BEC, uh, let's say to 7.4, will be depending what you're driving. Like the Savox here. Uh, this guy here is a 1268, high voltage. Basically, what it will do when you give it more voltage to it, the ounces of torque will change. I have like a OMG here. This is a 36 kilogram, close to 500 ounces of torque. It will give me that torque if I give it 7.4 or 8.2. 8.4, if I remember correctly, uh, will give me 8.4 will give me 37 kilogram. At 36, it'll be 7.4. That way, you'll get the maximum. If I read in the back here, yeah, 8.4 will be uh, 0 0.75 seconds, 60 degrees, uh, 514 ounces of torque. At 7.4. 36 kilogram will be 500 ounces of torque. I say I give it only six volts. Like this guy can give out. I will have 486 ounces of torque. Now, the higher your torque, more stronger your servo will be. Sometimes if you're looking for a servo to be uh, faster, you'll lose on your torque, but you'll gain on your speed, depending on the servo. And if you grab like a basic, uh, like this is Savox 0251, it will take only 6 volts. 
and this one, if I remember correctly, it's uh, 277 ounces of torque. Still good for six volts, still good torque. <clears throat> Your BCs, this is a castle at 10 amp peak, it says on it. That's where you need to be careful. Uh, it will take up to 6S, 25 volts max in. Output 4.8 minimum to 9 volts. But it's a 10 amp peak. It will peak to 10, but it's a constant 5 volts. Yeah, 5 volts, sorry, 5 amps. Now, let's say you'll have on your rig, uh, you'll have a high voltage servo that is going to draw roughly about 3 to 4 amps every time you're turning your steering wheel. Uh, and you have bunches of lights, a bunch of LED lights, or even a winch. You have your lights on, you're trying to turn at the same time and use your winch. You're going to surpass that 5 amps. Sometimes what's going to happen, you're going to create kind of a, they call it a brownout, uh, a glitch. Basically, your receiver could shut down and reboot itself, creating new issues. This guy here will peak up to 10, but it's not something constantly it will do. I'll peak and go back to five. After a while, you could create damage to this guy here. One of the reasons I have this one here, this is damaged because I consume too much out of it. We do have one from RC4 wheel drive here. That's a six volt, five amps. They don't tell me what's the peak. It might be just be five amps. Uh, same bolter 2S to 5S. Uh, basically five volts or 23 volts. You give it voltage in, and it outputs voltage. Now, if we look at the Castle CC BEC 2.0 waterproof in an aluminum case, this guy here is a little bit different. You have your voltage in, and you have twin voltages out. You could power your ESC right here, but not your ESC, I mean your... Uh, your uh, receiver, should I say? Sorry. And this could be an auxiliary out to power your lights or something else. This guy here is a 15 amp peak. Will take 5.25 volts at, at one at 12 S. We'll do even uh, 4 S maximum input. And the output is 4.75 to 12 volts. Even this guy, it is a 15 amp output. But again, depending on the voltage you give it. If you give it six volts, this guy will output constant at 10 amp. If you output in it 7.4, this guy will give you a constant eight amps. Higher the voltage you go, lower the amperage will be. Now, why is this the case? I'm not that technical to, to really bother with it. But what I do like, it is a constant eight amps. If you do your calculation of your equipment you'll have, you can physically calculate how much draw you're gonna have. If you have a high, high power of a servo in it, say to yourself, you're gonna consume at least a minimum of three to four amps, and you have multiple AD LEDs, it can consume. One of the ways you can find out very fast is let's say you're playing with your, your rig and every time you're turning your steering wheel, you'll see your lights kind of dim, dim. Uh, that's going to tell you that your BEC is not outputting enough voltage or enough amperage to make everything happy. And now you could go up with a BEC appropriate. Castle does make one that's 20 amps output. Uh, that's mostly made for kind of airplanes or fifth scale machines that have big giant servos in it. You, for a one tenth vehicle, it's really overkill. I would go with this one, or even there's a 2.0 very light, it exists, or even the, the 1.0 I call these guys. Never really had issues with these guys here. I have them in multiple of my machines, and like I said, never had issues. Just this one gave me issues once. It still works, I just don't trust it. 
and I want to, I blew a servo for this guy here. Uh, this guy will be going in my new machine building very soon, along with this one and with this speed control here. Uh, basically, this will power all my accessories, my winch, my servos, um, anything that's physical in the machine. And the speed control will power the, uh, the receiver and certain things that be powered on with when I turn the machine on. And this one, like I was saying, it is adjustable. This one is adjustable. This is not. There is some lower brand that you, they are adjustable. Again, the price of this guy and this guy here are very close here in Canada. There's not a major difference. The reason I went with this one, it is an 80 amp output. If I ever want to push my machine a little bit too much, I want to make sure to have that power. But in a nutshell, this is what is a BEC. If you have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you. And don't forget to hit that uh, like button in that corner. I do appreciate it a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. That helps a lot of the channel. Thank you for watching.